Yellow Rules here, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So in the last episode, we went and we played the arcade game, and it didn't really make much sense um, to us, so I guess we're just going to the restaurant again this morning? Yeah. And I still haven't found the other Monokuma um, cutouts, so, and I would like to do that um, at some point. Um, if I have another free time segment, I'm not sure if I will for this chapter. I'll go and look for the uh, cutouts. They're on the second island. They're always on the new island that opens up. So I just haven't looked well enough for them. I found one, and that's the only one I found. Good, day. good morning, Hajime. Hello, Sonia. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at a table near the window. Yo. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're going to eat? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. That's not how fruit works in artificial, um... It's pretty sure it's artificial flavoring, so no, it does not. Like. You should just eat real fruit. Yeah, she makes a very good point. It seems like a bad time to bring up that game of all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell Is you Mahiru this. missing? Oh. Hmm? Uh-oh. After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. Oh no. She's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um, I wonder if she is not feeling well. Maybe. maybe she just doesn't feel good. That's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... Uh, a small chance that she's what? Um, I saw my hero. She was outside the hotel. Oh, I see. Jeez, don't say such a spooky thing. As punishment, I'm gonna run around you in a circle three times, say wolf, and jump off a cliff. How about you run around in a circle three times, say wolf, and jump off a cliff? What? I don't want to die like that. That doesn't even make any sense. But what was my hero doing outside the hotel? She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. Wanted to be alone. Maybe she's planning to play that game. Oh, hey, Mikan brought it up for us. Thanks. What are you saying, Pickbarf? There's no way my hero will play video games. She's not that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Oh, God. wow. Okay. Wow. Huh? Uh, were you referring to me? <laughs> I am Pickbarb, aren't I? Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Hmm? Yo. Hey, how'd you make? Got a second? Uh, sure, Kazuichi. What is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glancing quickly around the room. What are you up to? And whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? <laughs> hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... Nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. Hmm. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you fiends? Ha <laughs> ha you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? Name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. Sure you do, Gundam. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, hunting maid, that's what's happening, so I'll see you then. You know, Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, bye, Kazuichi. Well, what was that about? No idea. Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi, and that day's breakfast came to an end. Okay. So, what are we doing now? Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30 p.m. But what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. 
Oh, we have free time. Okay, wow. Okay, then. Uh, hmm. So I'll figure out who I want to talk to. Actually, no. I want to go, since I have the opportunity, I want to go look for Monokuma cutouts and I'll show you guys where they are and then I'll go find somebody to talk to. Be right back. Hazuichito. Are you serious? Really? Really? Okay, apparently I can't go to the second island because I have to conserve my energy. Okay, whatever. Fine then, who do I have as an option to talk to then? Let's see, Gamaru, Gundam, okay. So a bunch of people are at the hotel. Okay, so let's see. Here we go, Chiaki's Cottage. Who is it? Hi! Wow, it's messy in here. Wow. Why can I interact with this poster? Is this a new game that just came out? <laughs> it's a Danganronpa uh, Despair Sisters game. <laughs> Ultimate Despair Girls, oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret playing this, but that's what makes it so fun. <laughs> they have their own advertisement in the game, nice. Mm. I don't want to spend that much energy today. I think I'd rather just sit still and read a book or something. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Sure. Hey, hey. You want to read too? Let's go to the library together. But I thought we didn't want to go to the second island today. I spent time today reading with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Yes. What would you like to give her? I would like to give her... Where is it? This. Hajime, you seem to be holding something pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. No one has ever given me such an awesome present before. You're welcome. She's staring off into space again, as usual. You gonna say something? No? Sorry. Ah, sorry. I was getting a little sleepy. While you were standing? I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm -hmm. hmm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. That's... Uh, maybe we are a little bit too addicted to games, I think. That's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Trio the Punch? Huh? Mm -hmm. The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. Probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. The more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. You might eventually end up turning into sheep. Uh, I doubt that. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm hmm, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game? Haha, <laughs> fourth wall break. What's that? Either way, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to have a happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those, too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. Haha, <laughs> as expected of the ultimate gamer. I'd probably just give up on a game like that. But, to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? Do we have a multiple choice thing now? I won't tell you. No? Okay. I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Oh, but just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Okay. Nice. Hope fragment obtained. Cool. I parted ways with Chiaki and went back to my room. 
Okay, so who do we want to hang out with next? Oh, never mind. It's time to meet up with, with Kazuichi. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What he's, what's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No, I don't think so. No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Okay, let's go to the supermarket. Okay, we're just gonna go right there. Huh? Well, it's well past the arranged time, but there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell like a balloon until... No! Oh, hello. <laughs> of course we get scared. Oh, what the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. Late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh, I just overheard something. Apparently Miss Sonia's idea. For a change of pace. It looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. And you want to be a peeping Tom about it, right? It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you. As expected, a Miss Sonia splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much, it's about to burn out. <laughs> so, let's crash it together. Why? Why me? Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? How about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Yeah. Nikomar can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is... Well, Gundam. Yuhiko and Nakito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? You're stepping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. Oh, please don't. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Yahoo! That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. Soul brother, what? So, what do I have to do? Well, well based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. Right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. Not that he can't take a hint, he just doesn't want to take the hint. So anyway, let's head over to the diner. Okay, we're finally at the diner. By the way, you can't go anywhere else or Kazuichi stops you, so I haven't had time to go look for Monokuma cutouts this time around, which is kind of annoying me. <laughs> Alright, the ladies aren't here yet. Let's hurry up and go inside. Okay. Okay, diner. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? It's very stalkerish, I guess, but. Hmm. So, what? Do I have to talk to Kazuichi again? And when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears, too? And they mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m.? Why are we here so early then? It's 3 p.m. right now, so you have to wait one more hour. <laughs> I always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know? Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonia on the way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. <laughs> Such a pushover, Hajime. Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin on my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Uh, are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only things that 
grew for the volumes of my sighs and the weight of my regret. <sighs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonya will wear since she's a foreigner? How about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? What in the world do you mean by that? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. I left the diner in a hurry and ran over to where that person was standing. What? Oh, Fuyuhiko. What? <laughs> I knew it was you, Fuyuhiko. What are you doing here? Um, that's... Uh, that's my line. Hey, what the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? Who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations. Don't tell me. Oh man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? P plan? It's no use playing dumb, Kazuichi. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hey, what are you doing at this place? Hi, Yuki. That's a strange combo. Uh -huh. Um, today is another wonderful day. Well, you're, done for. you're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. Uh, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you like. Wow. Uh, um, you two, this is such a coincidence. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Wow. <laughs> Man, actually, Huggy and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Uh, Aww. what? <laughs> In no way. I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight. I realized that he had disappeared. Oh, Fuyuhiko left. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? Well, well regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30 p.m. and you still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Really, Kazuichi? Um, why you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our, our meeting time. Mm. Well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's share the coincidence that brought us together. So, is it okay if we join in too? Wow, he got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So, that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course. Then it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. <laughs> is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Is it alright if we go inside now? Ibuki was gonna eat a good meal first, that's why I came early. You shouldn't eat before you swim. <laughs> sure thing, let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off of Yuhiko. Oh well, I've come this far, I can't turn back now. Okay, let's go back inside the diner and wait for Miss Sonya to arrive. Wow, Kazuichi just like blew our whole cover. I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Yeah. <laughs> Without thinking, I couldn't help but letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know. Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. Oh, you're wearing them under your clothes. Okay, got it. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties. It's a swimsuit. Of course. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Huh? Really? Uh, Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. H here you go. This is yours. Um... What? What is this thing? Um, it may be rude of me to say this, but... Uh, that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live-action drama. Oh god. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? Match? Oh god, no. It's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. Uh, 
I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Th things are heating up, something fierce. When everyone, when's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. Now she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Oh, hello, Hyoko. Isn't that Hyoko? Jeez, yeah. Don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Of course you did. Seem a little strange. If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Uh huh. It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Probably. Was right our questions. Yoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she a part of the beach groom? Uh, apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she... didn't she just come running from the beach? I'm sorry! I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. My hero is the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. My hero, she did. She turned it down. It's so unexpected of her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it. But it can't be helped. Apparently, she wasn't she wasn't really feeling well. Um, I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying. Oh no. Something's definitely wrong. Hey. Whoa. When do you get here so suddenly? Hazuchi suddenly shouted, and he was looking at was near the diner entrance. As I turned around, oh, hello. Oh, hi. Oh my, how, how disappointing. disappointing. I thought if I came early, <laughs> I'd be the first one to arrive. Hi, Chiaki. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. <laughs> I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. Even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. That's a oh, nice gesture. It's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Uh, she also, makes a good point. I was thinking of stuff <coughs> we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Hmm. Of course he brought a we game. Play, even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. <laughs> I'm disappointed oh. too. But how should I say this? Is this what Gatmo is supposed to be? What in the world are you talking about? There's someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit it makes you a little excited. Right, Hajime? Hazuichi, will you shut up? Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. You guys are both pervs. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never said to Chiaki to have such huge jugs. Oh my god. What jugs? Hey, hey, hey. I didn't say that just now. It was hugging me. He's a pervert, you know. What are you saying? I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Hmm. <laughs> the size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it. Huh? No, well, no, no. I guess you look good. <laughs> then I'm glad. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. Oh, right. It's gonna be see-through when it gets soaked. My heart's not just thumping. It's thumping all sporadically, like but don't, 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 but don't. <laughs> It's probably a heart attack. Yeah. Hey, I kept you waiting. Oh, hi, Akane. We heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was... Kane, covered in blood, it looks like. Hello. Some... Hey. hey, sorry hey. to keep you guys, keep you guys waiting. Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. No, we mean the fact that it seems like you bashed your head open on something. It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Carrie oh, reference. You're talking about these. <laughs> on my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. So you decided yeah, to fight again? Happens, I gotta fight him, you know? 
really. Why does she have to do that? Are you really all right? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? <laughs> Akane's like philosophy towards getting hurt kind of makes me think of um, uh, Sakura's um, mentality towards getting hurt. As long as I drink po protein shake, I'll be fine. You're totally playing up the power of human spit. <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. And also wanting to fight a strong opponent and overcome that strong opponent to be the strongest person. Also, parallel with Sakura there. Anyway, he needs to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? That sounded like Pekko. Oh, Oh, who's it this time? Oh, hello, Pekko. Why are you soaked in water? Hmm? Why are you two here? Um, by coincidence? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. Okay. <laughs> Hot Yume does not sound convinced. Okay, now I'm not convinced. That's what? That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? Yeah, it wasn't good for point. my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? What? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. We're on the second island, right? Yeah, so... Wait, what? You see anything after you swam for three hours? It's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hmm. Hey. Hey, how do you mean? Hmm? What? Awesome! Oh, with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Oh my god. We killed off Tero Tero, who's the original pervert, just to be replaced by Kazuichi. Oh my good god. Oh my my! And this body too, man. What? Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Don't say such asinine things. I agree with Pekko. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here, and it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left is. I am terribly sorry for my delay. There she is. <sighs> is Sonya's here? He doubled down. He's doubled down on excitement. <gasps> all right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? I'm gonna take a guess and say that she's the only one wearing a one piece. Oh, bodysuit actually. Wow. Ah, it's a wetsuit. Mm. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. You are pretty pale, so yeah, that seems like a legitimate However, concern. As I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Hmm. Really? It is my bad. <laughs> so funny when Sonya tries to use like traditional civilian speak. My bad. Oh my. I see a wetsuit. Oh, Miss Sonya does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonya. But that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I expect from a 100% purebred princess. Really? This guy, he's quick to recover. Um, um anyway, why are you two here? Uh. I'll answer that, Miss Sonya. I'll be honest, if you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. Really? I am concerned. Well, this is originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. <sighs> Do you think you can make an exception, Brady, please? Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. If it's not there, if it, it's not like there'd be any problems, even if there are some boys. Then. You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <sighs> Oh, Miss Sonya is so kind. Alright, All right, now that it's decided, let's get going. 
But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up, shut up. I, there's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines ready. I mean, I promise I'll give it my all to serve to serve you so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um, hmm. And surrounded by girls and sunsus, this is a little awkward. I should go help Kazuichi too. I mumbled my excuse as I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hmm. Okay, well, let's head to the beach. There we go. No. Reticle, please. There we go. Chandler Beach. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Body discovery well, announcement. After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, a body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone... Someone come here! Kazuichi? That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Did, did that scream just now come from in here? Cautiously, I reached my hand towards the doorknob. As I twisted the doorknob, I tried to open the door. It's locked? It won't open. It's locked. No. This is different. It's like something is locking the door from the other side. What does this mean? Uh oh. Hmm. I hope you don't mind if I take a detour real quick to pick up this Monokuma cutout. Thanks. I want the Monokuma cut out. Give it to me, please. There we go. Forgot, you just have to click on it. There's no reticle that shows up for them because it would make it way too obvious to find them if that were the case. Okay, cool. Anyway, now we can go inside the beach house. Luigi screamed. Did I really hear it come from here? Uh, no, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. Well... You should. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? Just go inside the building. As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. It's the same mentality Taro Taro had. It won't help you. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Who's dead this time? Oh... My hero. Oh no. Well, if this was all a dream, when did I when did I begin dreaming? This is reality. Why is my hero on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me, and I couldn't believe in anything. Hmm. See in punishment's deadly life. Mahiru Komizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Towards us and towards herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Cloudness, darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Huh? Um... Hi, Buki. Yeah, there she goes. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Buki inst instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. But then me, various layers were peeling off. 
My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? <gasps> eh, oh my, my hero! The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. <laughs> For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house until a voice stopped hold them. It. Hold, hold on a sec. Mm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of the door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? It's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence. Manakuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. Another class trial? Serious? Then, are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her! Kill? That's impossible! Hey, hey. It's not like an accident or something? Lies. If you guys think, th think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? Uh... In other words. That also counts as a legitimate murder. Now such deaths fall into a gray area, on this island I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. Hi Monami. What's this? Oh, speaking of which... There it is! The silent treatment attack! This is like the number one thing that hurts me! Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. This is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold the class trial. So, so let's begin already. No whining. Just begin already. Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. They should start to feel familiar. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. Class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. Just, just too horrible. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? That I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Plus, it's against the rules. The teachers cannot interfere with what the students are doing. So, Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Okay, bye. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? <laughs> do we have to do it again? That cruel thing? We have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. But even so, we should never forgive never killing him. Mm. She usually has her head in the clouds, but for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me, too. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but... 
but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm down a little. Also, I will go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiro Komizumi, and why was she killed? You gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. Stop saying that, and let's just get on with the investigation. I don't want to do this, but there's more... But that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Well, I agree with you there. Investigate. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. Monokuma file number two. The victim is Mahiru Kamizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler, I Chandler Beach. Hmm. Cause of death is a single blow to the head with a blunt instrument. Okay. There are no other conspicuous in in external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Okay. Around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Monokuma file number two has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, so it's finally time to investigate the death of Mahiru, but I'm going to do that in the uh, next episode. Um, but if I think about like relating this game to the first game again, in the second trial in the first game, I believe that's the one where Celeste was the culprit. And, well, there's a whole bunch of different layers, but one thing was that, well... Actually, no, who was the second trial in the first game? It was Celeste, wasn't it? I actually don't, don't recall, but anyway, there are a lot of parallels between this game and the first game. I'm just trying to point po point them all out, but I'll do that at the beginning of the next one when I have more time to think about it. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, give the video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon. All three links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more, and if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.